The weather, weather isn't just impacting travelers in the air. Multiple crashes now popping up across the metro near bridges and overpasses. Right now, Overland Park police are working a three vehicle crash on the flyover bridge from I-35 to 69 Highway. They tell us one person is injured. Police say 41 Action News. They tell us that the road is a sheet of ice right now. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake joins us live from Storm Tracker in the Northland. Sarah, how are the roads where you guys are? Well, they are wet and people are starting to slow down, so that's good news here. Let's uh, look here on the street on the highway here at 29. Uh, we're in the Northland. You can see those uh, trucks, those salt trucks are finally out. They had to wait till it stopped raining because what's the point of putting uh, salt down when the rain's just going to wash it away? So we've been buzzing around the metro all night long, getting reaction from people about what this forecast means to them. As usual, the weather in the metro went from 60 degrees to this in just 24 hours and could look like this by Saturday morning. We stopped by KCK and as you can see, there is nobody out on these streets. The streets are emptying a little bit more by the minute. We talked to some folks who are trying to find the nearest store to go and get stock up because they are not going out this weekend once the snow comes down. Lord, let me get home for a start. <laughs> he just got through coming from the grocery store and it was no food left on the shelves hardly. No food. We went to two stores. The Family Dollar on 7th was busy, with people like Ronna Collins making a last-minute stop for baking goods. Oh, lemon cheesecakes, yep, that's my specialty, cheesecakes and pies. So what time should we come over? Anytime you want. <laughs> and here we are. We came down to downtown Overland Park, where the imminent weather really hasn't stopped too many people from coming out to get a bite to eat or something to drink. Now, I had to put on my big coat because the temperature is continuing to drop, and we see some of this uh, drizzle starting to freeze. And for some people like Lance Heath, the weather is a great opportunity to make some money. I'm putting down salt so when the sleet and stuff comes down, it won't ice over the parking lot. City crews were waiting for the rain to stop before they headed out for the night to salt the streets. And downtown Kansas City, lots of people are still out and about. We're seeing a lot of people coming in from out of town. They made this trip for a reason to go to the Chiefs game, so they're not letting any snow, any rain, nothing stopping them from having a good time. I'm new here. I know I've never seen an ice storm, so I have no idea people are talking about, but I'll, I'll believe it when I see it, right? We come in from uh, Utah, uh, come to the Chiefs game on Sunday, so. How exciting! Yeah, it's, go Chiefs, I, they better win. <laughs> All right, so here we are on 29 up ahead. You can see um, and what looks like a crash here. So you might uh, be on the lookout if you have to get out and about. We've, we've talked about those crashes popping up here and there. And uh, as our meteorologists have said, if you're going over any of those overpasses, any of those bridges, expect those to be the slickest parts. But stay safe out there while you're driving. Of course, go slow. We tell you this every time it is slick out there. I'm on the highway, Sarah Plague, 41 Action News. All right, thanks, Sarah. I think a lot of people agree with that fan from Utah. The Chiefs need a win. Before you leave tomorrow, check the roads in your neighborhood. Several cities have maps similar to this one from Kansas City. It shows you which streets have been treated and how long ago. Green means a vehicle passed in the last four hours. Yellow is between four to eight hours. We've got a link to these maps at KSHB.com slash weblinks.